Okay, I just wanted to uh, show a few games that I picked up in the last uh, couple of months. Uh, most of them off of eBay or other online retailers. Uh, the first two they are uh, Stellar Conquest and Conquistador. Both of them are the Avalon Hill versions. Both of them are practically in mint condition. They're unpunched. All the components are pretty much like new. Um, they're just uh, fine examples of a couple of old out of print games. And I'm happy to have them in my uh, collection. Will I ever play them? Eh, probably not, but you know, I'm a collector more than a player. I also picked up End of Empire and the replacement counters from. I um, got these from Noble Knight, and I got the replacement counters from Compass Games. Um, it's in shrink wrap still. Haven't even taken a look at it. Um, I intend to do so here in the next uh, month or so. It looks like a great game. Can't wait to at least uh, dig into it, see what it's like. The other one is an old Victory Games game, Shell Shock. Um, as you can see, it's two-player ambush based uh, loosely on the uh, Victory Games Ambush system. But it's for two players, obviously. And these are the back of the boxes. Like I say, End of Empires is still in shrink, and Shell Shock is in unpunched, uh, excellent condition. So that's two more they've, that I've uh, collected in the past couple of months. Okay, two more games that I've picked up. One is Clash of Arms. Jenna, Jenna, I'm going to pronounce it. Um, it's in uh, excellent uh, mint condition, unpunched, etc. And I picked up the old strategy and tactics with Cedar Mountain. It's unpunched in uh, pretty much excellent mint condition. It uses the great battles of American history, the first. Uh, First versions of that. Strip it over here. There's the back side of the boxes. I know you probably can't see very well. Um, trust me, they're there. Uh, that's two more games I picked up. I'm looking forward to uh, digging in the next soon. Okay, next is a set of miniature rules, comprehensive rules as it says on the box, for Modern Micro Armor by GDW and GHQ. TAC Force. It's a product I've been looking for for a long time, probably since uh, my late teens, early 20s. Um, it's just like I say, a set of miniature rules. Fairly uh, detailed, actually. Uh, first battle of the next war, TAC Force. So, uh, like I said, it's a miniature rule set. Counters are unpunched. Books are like new. Um, the charts and cards and everything are like new. Um, this is one of my more prized possessions, I guess. Do I do miniatures? No. But I find the information um, that they present to be useful. And this one pretty much covers the early 80s, so it's not going to have any kind of state-of-the-art equipment and stuff in it. In fact, there's no... There's no uh, gee, T-72s, the old M1 Abrams, doesn't even have all those in them. But it still, uh, still has some useful information. Okay, and finally, um, last, but uh, by no means... Okay, and lastly, I picked up two shrink wrap copies of a couple of 3W games from the, uh, what, 80s? Um, <clears throat> the Army of the Potomac and the Army of the Tennessee, both of which comprise Mr. Lincoln's War, uh, long before the latest uh, incarnation of uh, Mr. Lincoln's War. Um, both designed by Mark McLaughlin, 
We also designed War and Peace and the Holy Roman Empire. And let's see, oh, two games that I have that I like East Wind Rain and uh, some various other games which I have uh, no idea what they are at the moment. Um, anyway, I've been looking for these since I was a teenager and was reading 3W, uh, the Wargamer magazine. Very happy to get these. Got both of them for under 60 bucks. Very happy on eBay, of course. And. They're kind of like a Holy Grail type of game for me on the Civil War. Uh, they're not the best uh, on the strategic level, by no means. But they're just kind of a part of gaming history that uh, I enjoy, and I'm very happy to have them. So, anyway, those are my latest purchases probably in the last two months. And uh, I look forward to going over them and seeing what they're all about. And, Perhaps take a couple of them for a test drive. At least maybe uh, do a couple of first look or whatever type videos. So anyway, until then, talk to you later.